Happy Tuesday, everyone. I'm a very exhausted Derek the Nitwit. Thanks for stopping by. So today, so far, we've been, we got up this early this morning, went to the vet, came home, left to go to DBT, then went to the grocery store, then came home, then left to go to Michael's, then to the vet again to pick up Max, and then back home. And now I'm in the middle of cooking dinner, and I am exhausted. But it's all good. Tomorrow, all I have to do tomorrow is get up, go to water aerobics, and then I'm done for the day. And we'll have to do anything until therapy on Thursday afternoon, and that's providing that therapy isn't canceled due to the weather because it's supposed to snow Wednesday night. And if it snows enough, then the um, where I go to therapy may close. So but I'll we'll know that till Thursday morning. So anyway, but both cats went, had a checkup. Well, Little Miss kind of had a checkup. Um, for what they were able to do, she looks fine. They're not worried about her because she's obviously feisty enough that, you know, she's not feeling bad. Um, if they ever needed to do, they did say that if they ever need to do a more in-depth um, exam, then they would need to um, probably give her some gabapentin um, prior to that to help with the anxiety of her going to the vet. They were able to do near swab, um, but other than that, you know, they said she's good to go. Max had a dental cleaning and got an exam. He's lost a pound, so he's no longer chunky or on his way to chunky. He is, um, both of the cats are at their ideal weight. So, now, in DBT, was was pretty good. We learned the skill, because that's a lot, DBT is learning how to regulate your emotions, because a lot of us weren't lucky enough to grow up in homes where we learned how to regulate our emotions. So, when you're having, like, an extreme emotion, like, to the point that it's overwhelming you, the tip that we learned today was using ice, like an actual piece of ice. An ice cube, something, you know, because ice, holding in your hand, putting it in your face, the temperature will, you know, it helps, you know, you focus on the, on the ice, and it, and it allows you, your brain, to get that little bit of distance so that it can give you a, a chance to step back from that emotion and not be so you know, overwhelmed to the point that you can't function. And, you know, part of the thing, there's more steps with, other than just using the ice, but what we've learned so far this week was just the ice. What comes next is, you know, you're focusing on the ice. You feel the ice, you know, you, you, you it's a mindfulness activity. And then, you know, once you, you can do the ice, you think, okay, well, you know, I can feel the cold, I can feel, you know, the, the sting, the whatnot. You know, okay, can I feel my feet? touch the ground, can I feel my, you know, self sitting in the chair, can I feel my clothing, you know, you're focusing on that, developing mindfulness, which will allow you to start calming down a little bit so that you can actually process that emotion. So it's really neat. This is, this DBT class, it's not a ther group therapy like you normally do, uh, or what you think of for, on a group therapy class. It's more of an education thing, and so we learned the skill we learn just a, a part of the skill, and the next week we learn another part, and then you know once you go through the whole curriculum, you start over, and it's more because you have to, you, you have to practice this over and over again. It's not a, a learn it once and you're done. So, now, after that, so my Michaels, I got to do my yarn shopping because I went to group, went to therapy Thursday, went to the gym Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday I had therapy, then Tuesday I had therapy. So that was six days that I got. You know, that I did something um, healthy. So that was six skeins of yarn. And Michael's has got, you know, so I could have maximum of seven skeins or maximum of 20 bucks. Um, I mean, I, I can't get more than seven skeins no matter what, but I also can't spend more than 20 bucks no matter what. So Michael's is having a sale. So the Loops and, loops and Threads yarn was 40% off my market bag that it made. So I've got, these are all the, impec the impeccable yarns. So this one is, and all these yarns that I got today are for a specific project that I have in mind that I have to learn how to do C to C, um, or corner to corner on it. But this is gold, and it is a medium size four, um, use an H or a USH or a five millimeter hook for it. So that one. We've got two blacks, 
And again, this is that loops and thread, you know, the impeccable. We have chocolate upside down. And these are all 100% acrylic. So, and they're, they are 4.5 or ounces or 127 and a half grams. Or, let's see, what is it? 285 yards. So then we have a light gray. And, what was this one called? Lap, lapis. Lapis. I can't figure it. There we go. So those are the yarns that I got. And I did pretty good. And um, all of those was, I spent $15.78, but $2 of that was for a popcorn snack that I got. So. And then, oh, hang on. I stopped at the post office box. I got happy mail. And. Okay, I'm having a hard time reading the name on here. T. Shields? Shibs? Shubs? I'm not sure. I can't read it very well. But we're going to open this. We'll see. Maybe there's. Ah, this is the tra the stuff from Tracy. The. Um, for, from Crochet Rocks. Okay, awesome. Cool. This is that. Oh, and then the, the biscuit um, tea bags. Okay. So, yeah, so you get to see me open this. You don't get to see me open it live, but you do get to see me open it. So, this is awesome. This is really soft. It's the shawl, um, shawl or knit craft shawl we dance. There's a pattern inside for one ball. So, I may make that. I may, I'll look and see what the pattern is, but it's 150 grams. 79%, 76% acrylic, 9% wool, 9% alpaca, and 6% metallic. But it is really soft. It's squishy, too. But it is, use a 4 millimeter or a USA size 6. Oh, hang on just a second. Okay, I'm back. Let's see. So, we were talking about this. So, I mean, it's really soft, and it looks like there's, um... What are you doing, Max? Max is playing with the bag. So yeah, so I'm excited to see what I can, what I'll be able to make with that. Now the rest of the stuff that I got, this is all eBay haul. So let's see. Oh, we got a puff ball to go on top of a beanie. It's a pretty navy blue color. This will stay wrapped up and it will go up there with the other one that hopefully Max and the cast will find it. So let's see, what is this one? Oh, oh. <laughs> these are my naughty socks. See. This one says that this one says that. So I have socks. I don't know if it goes that way or that way. So I've got those. This that, absolutely not related to knitting and crocheting. But I will need it to hang my um what do you call that? Um, hammock chair. It is a universal socket. So you know you stick it in there and it fits however whatever size and shape as long as it fits in the whole big thing. So yeah. You know. Because I am since I'm renting a place I have to have furni er, furniture. I have to have furniture too but I have to have tools so I'm just getting them as I need them. What are you doing little Max? I pick him up, and he immediately starts purring. Yeah. 
The vet says, anesthesia made him lovey-dovey. Yes. You still don't like kisses, do you? Yeah. Max. Max. Yep. Max gave y'all the sniff of approval. Okay, so let's see what this is. Uh, it is a cleaning brush to clean the tracks of the window from when you lift the window up when it gets all dusty. Complete with a... Oh, wait. Hang on. What is this? Here? It's just a little brush with a little hook that you can hang it up. That's really neat. Oh, that's so cute. It's a little dustpan. You can just sweep in there. That is just too cute. Because, yeah, that'll fit in the little truck. Let's see what this is. Ooh, I have. Oh, this is my. I know what this is, because they put it on the label. Ah, it's my itty bitty little crochet hook book. You've got this size, it's got all these little bitty pockets. Little put there to I guess it goes this way, to put hooks in from little bitty up to the big ones and the little pocket there and then you know, net on that side and then the other side has more hook spots and some pouches with these that have zippers on them and then the whole thing just zips up like a little book. I'm excited about this. I've been waiting for this to come. Yay! So I had, excuse me, a really good haul today. So I've got the, the awesome yarn from Crochet Rocks. And I got my cats to the vet and back. And I got my groceries. And that's why I had to stop recording a minute ago because I'm in the middle of cooking dinner. I'm actually cooking I'm going to be eating chicken and rice and or chicken rice and broccoli casserole for dinner for the next week. So, and I got all my errands done. I'm starting to get a little bit more energy back after burning through all of it. I gave away one of my um, project bags that I bought in Mexico because I was sitting waiting in the bus and this. Oh man, he recognized the name. At, I have a bag, like a thermal bag from a tea shop around here. And he'd recognize it. We started talking about it. We started talking about sprouts, all the other stuff. And then he saw my bag and we were talking about that and, and about the Cozumel and all the other stuff. And he was just kept admiring and whatnot. And I mean, he, he wasn't asking or anything, but he just thought it was neat and thought it was so fancy and so cool. And so, you know, I had, my other ba had another bag with me. So I emptied my the Cosmo bag out into one of my other ones and then gave him the bag so he you know, made him happy and I ordered more lip balm tubes that actually come with the tray so that they'll fit so I won't have to sit there and use a syringe back and forth and those are coming tomorrow along with my yarn for Michaels that I ordered prior to the new one skein a day if I be healthy thing but this is the yarn that's for the uh, Melody Cardi that Sabrina came at, um, developed or designed. So, Sabrina, we need to get together and get the sizing done, right, to figure out the count so that I can actually, um, so I can get started on that. Or, you know, and then I also have this other project that I want to get started on that is where I got to learn the C2C. Um, and so, 
I think that is it. It is getting steamy in here because I've been cooking and boiling stuff and washing dishes and all kinds of stuff. But anyway, I'm off looking at the wrong corner of my screen. Anyway, I am... Oh, look, hey, my... See, my flower. I'm going to have to go ahead and open that and... See if I trim that, if that will... Maybe save that. See, that's just what it looks like. I do believe that flower is fake. The plants are real. The leaf, green stuff's real, but I think the, the flower itself was fake. But, we'll see if that grows. Anyway, I need, and if not, you know, I will we'll find a different plant. So, anyway, this video's gone on long enough, and I need to get this stuff put up so I can get ready to have dinner here in a little bit, and, get the, and I need to get this video edited and uploaded, and I will see you guys later.